Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Today in history, we're going back to the year 2018 to speak mm. about one of the most famous voices, one of the richest black, you know, singers, one of the most, you know, popular singers in the world. Her name is Rihanna Fenty something, or Fenty <laughs> Rihanna, I'm not sure what it is now. <laughs> but on this day, she became an ambassador. This is a very interesting story, actually, yeah. because of how I'm good, what I'm going to say at the end. Okay. She became an ambassador to uh, Barbados, where she's originally from. She had, um, uh, of course, been appointed because of her extraordinary support and uh, contribution to um, the home country of Barbados, and the position gives her specific responsibility of promoting education, tourism, and investment for the island. Um, she also became one of Barbados' uh, cultural ambassadors in 2008, doing promotional work for its tourism ministry. The Prime Minister, the Barbadian Prime Minister, Maya Amor Motley, said in the statement that her government was honored to be able to confer the title on the outstanding Barbadian who has contributed significantly to raising the island's profile across the world. Um, she, of course, said in the statement that she couldn't be more proud to take on such a prestigious title in her home country. So congratulations to Rihanna. We're still waiting for the new album. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with you, but, you know, she, she, is, she is, of course, been a phenomenal um, um, contribution or artist, you know, since uh, her breakout in early or late 2000s or mid 2000s, I can't remember now. Um, she has been phenomenal. Um, currently, is worth over a billion, I believe. You know, after investing in fashion and, and furniture and some of all the uh, extra, extra stuff that she got into, aside music. Um, and so I was going to say, and this is, you know, the little addition to it, you know, that I, I understand every now and then there's a need to make people ambassadors. Um, and so when you see a person like this, this is going to sound like me hating and I really don't care. When you see a person like this, you know, because of their popularity and their contribution, you know, to the music world and to tourism and whatever it is, um, you would always understand why, you know, they are made ambassadors, you know, uh, for their countries or for their states and some of all of that. I want to put it side by side but with, you know, some of the people that will make ambassadors here because they, you know, get out of a TV show uh, that they were in for 90 days or for 75 days or for I don't know how many days. And suddenly they become state ambassadors for this and that and that and have zero contribution um, to that state or to whatever it is that the ambassadors for. The reason really is because I feel like, you know, for you to become, to have that type of relevance and to be given that type of recognition by state government mm -hmm. and by federal government or whatever, there has to be some level of contribution that you've given. You know, there has to be some value that you've been able to give. Um, and I don't, I personally just don't believe that these persons in particular have in any way given that level of value or contribution um, in the period that they've been in existence in our televisions. They've only probably been there for, you know, five, six weeks and suddenly, you know, they've become ambassadors to this or that. Um, and that includes those make, well, anyway, I don't go too far. But anyway, congratulations to Rihanna uh, Fenty. Yeah, well, you might have a point there. You might have a point there. But I think that um, when we look at it from the aspect of brands, brands who make these people ambassadors, I mean, brand ambassadors, not yeah, the ones who... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So when these people gather following in their numbers, because I have no idea why people, you know, obsess over certain celebrities, you know, so when you're able to gather that much fans and your you know your fan base is just so huge and they would retweet and do anything so you can understand from the marketing perspective why these yeah. people want to you know just bring them in and milk you know that I mean, opportunity absolutely. to make sales if, for if their brands. For brands if it's for so, brands but for yes. on, a, on a national level yes and um, when um there are cases when people like um we're going to mention names when people like um nengi um received some government appointments and all of that you, you can understand why some people said oh really what really has she contributed but i know she was a, a, a beauty queen at one time but i really didn't hear much about it until she got onto the show and talked about it so really we do need to get people who have i mean in our nigerian space people who have actually put nigeria on the map i mean why can't um someone like a whiskey or a video um have a government position regarding entertainment and tourism in nigeria well, i mean why can people like that why can someone like a bonner boy get such appointments because really they have put nigeria on the world map they have brought international recognition to nigeria regarding entertainment and all of that so yes you do have a point regarding um getting our priorities right who should be the face of what and what have your contributions been so far exactly. so congratulations again to rihanna on this day she was appointed ambassador of Barbados. 
All right, stay with us. Our first major conversation for today. We're going to be talking about young people in Nigeria, the continuous voter registration, um, online registration of voters, and how we can get more people to increase the numbers that we currently have. Um, as INEC currently has suspended um, online um, um, uh, voter registration, would be, of course, brought back sometime in October. But we'll get into that conversation right after this short break here on Plus TV Africa. Mm -hmm. 